And now on Great Day TV, here we are at the newly renovated Clues Hall. It looks beautiful. And also the very handsome, did I say that right? Uh, I Matthew so. Porter is with us. He is in charge of public relations for Broadway in Indianapolis. Showtime, we're back, and it's wonderful. Yes, ma'am. So Charlie and the Chocolate Factory opened our season, uh, and we are just so excited to have audiences back again, to have Broadway back in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. And opening night, I was there, and everybody had their mask on. Yes, ma'am. So yeah, that is, uh, that is the protocol. Everybody's wearing their masks uh, here at the theater. Uh, we want to make sure everybody's safe. Everyone backstage is vaccinated. So it's a, you know, it's a healthy environment for everyone. Okay, and this will be on a case-by-case show by show basis about yeah. how long the masks go or you yeah know, you just the, we want people to just stay in, in touch with us to make right. sure in case things change as we know with COVID things change on a daily basis so That'd just just stay in touch with okay. us. Okay Charlie and the Factory opened you up as you said uh, what else is coming up Broadway in Indianapolis? Well I know you're excited about January because Jesus Christ Superstar the 50th anniversary tour will be opening here again at Clues Hall um, and it is, again, the 50th anniversary. You remember the Brown album, right? <laughs> it's like dropping the needle right back down on the record uh, with a new <laughs> staging treatment, but it's it's absolutely stunning. Yes. You're gonna love it. I know I will. Yeah, that, that little dated reference here, uh, pop culture references that <clears throat> 50 years ago I bought when the album came out, and I remember that. You remember? So I remember the album, yes. Is, okay, it was, <laughs> it, was, it was great, and everybody, everybody had it. Uh, okay, then uh, Jesus Christ Superstar, when does that run? That runs in January here at Clues Hall, okay. um, and then that is followed by Pretty Woman in February. So based on like the film that everyone loves so much, starring mm -hmm. Julia Roberts and Richard Gere, um, tells the story of a Hollywood lady of the night uh, who falls in love with a rich uh, real estate tycoon. Mm -hmm. um, we know the story. Um, you've seen the movie. Most people have seen it millions of times. Right. Um, all those elements from the movie that you love are in the show. Okay. Um, it's got a score by Brian Adams, oh. so it's got that kind of 80s pop feel to it. Um, and it's it's one of those it's one of those favorites. It's going to be a fan favorite yeah. here in Indianapolis, people and that's will, here in February. People, February. I was just going to ask. People want to see it to see if it's like the movie or not like the movie, or, or want to refresh their memory. So uh, there's many reasons to see that one. And the next show is. And the next show is Mean Girls. Uh, that's also at Old National Center, um, and that's Tina Fey's brilliance. So um, if you've seen the movie again. You will absolutely love the stage production because it is absolutely hilarious. It's got some funky songs in it. it tells the story of Katie Heron who wants to infiltrate the Mean Girls and break them up, but instead becomes one and learns a lesson along the way. Um, the whole thing is hilarious, so everybody's going to have a great time. Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan played in the uh, in the film. In the film, I remember exactly. interviewing her for that when she was people didn't know who she was back then. Okay. And is that it? What else we got? We close our season with Dear Evan Hansen, um, which is uh, an absolutely just stunning show. And of course, the film just came out recently, um, but the stage show is, is where it's at, okay? Because it tells the story of Evan Hansen, who uh, is, is kind of alone in his own world. Uh, and he finds a way into finding light, but it's through a lie. Oh. And it's very, uh, it, it's very complicated. Things get very complicated throughout oh. the story. But again, it's something that's very moving. It's very touching, and it's something that I think audiences are really going to enjoy this season okay. because it, it touches a different heartstring than the others. Sounds like something for everybody then. Something for the kids, the adults. Something, something for everyone. Something old. Something new. Something yeah, blue. borrowed. Dear Evan Hansen's blue. They're in blue. So. Isn't he good? He really is good. Thank you very much, no, thank Matthew you. Porter. It's wonderful. And I'm so happy that we get to see and hear theater again. again. It's wonderful. Thank you. Okay. It's uh, Broadway in Indianapolis. Where do we go if we want to buy tickets? Give me a website here. Broadwayinindianapolis.com. Okay. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. And the show must go on. It must. And we will go on. We'll be back with more on Great Day TV.